Good morning, good afternoon. Raquel Redmond from Brava Art Press presenting another video tutorial. This time we are going to paint. We are going to paint on canvas or on board and we are also going to make a collage. We will engage in cutting, gluing, uh, painting, all kinds of incredible things. I have here some samples of these paintings that we have done in the past. This is one of them. Involves a garden, a magic garden, where everything grows big, like this flower is as big as a tree. Look at the size of this bird. It's a huge bird here. I've got another one. Another magic garden here with lots of colors and textures and repetitions. Repetition is when uh, you repeat a shape, like a, a dot here is repeated to create this pattern. And another garden here with big flowers and lots of lots of lovely textures. Here we have a beautiful garden with a big bird. It could be, it looks like a cockatoo, a king cockatoo trying to eat some blueberries. So a beautiful uh, tree, like a flower again, the sun, the sky, some red mountains on the background. These are ideas for uh, a theme. What are you going to do? You could do um, a picture uh, under the ocean with all the fish and the big whales and the seaweeds and all of that. Or you can do a picture concerning the space, the moon, the planets, the stars. So there are many, 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 many ways and many ideas to think about. I have here some collage that we have done already. Uh, this is what we have to do. We have to glue different shapes, different textures, different materials, and then we are going to paint all of that in white. Uh, I just added a little bit of color here for the glue so you can see how to make these textures because with the glue you can also make textures. This, by the way, is done on a canvas. Now, if you would like to do the same thing, it is possible to do that on a thick piece of cardboard like this, or even a piece of cardboard like this, which came from a box. So if you just paint over with white, and then start doing the collage, that's, we have two more pieces of card painted in white. Now we're going to start talking about materials. To do this collage project, we need paint and we need some bits and pieces like that, some recyclable materials. Some kitchen cloth. We have yarns. This is corrugated cardboard, it's very good. Some cupcakes, flattened like that. And newspaper cheap and really good to make all kinds of things. Also we have uh, bubble wrap. We have the paint here. There are different ways of um, putting the paint out as you can see. We have an ice cube tray on, on a tray, on a fish and chip tray like this. It's very good. And we have another tray here with some a small containers with paint. These containers have lids, so it's very good to keep them after you finish. This ice cube tray also has a lid, and this one doesn't, but a nice piece of um, glad wrap or plastic wrap will, will do that, and you can keep the paint in the classroom or at home, if you are working at home, for months. We also have glue in it. This is um, take away food container. And we have very thick paint here called gesso. Here I have the paint that we use. We normally use this paint called Chroma 2. Sometimes in kindergarten we use this other paint called Chroma Kids. This project involves glue. So we have Chroma 2 glue. We have the glue here, Chroma 2 glue. And also we have something called gesso, which is this very thick paint. Now we are going to talk about equipment, what 
do we need to make this um, collage and to paint the canvas? Paint brushes. There are a series of paint brushes here. Uh, a big paint brush, you will see later on how we're going to use the big paint brush. Medium sized paint brushes to paint, uh, to apply the color, and a short handled paint brush for the glue. We have scissors, little scissors, school scissors, you probably have them uh, at school or at home. And uh, for the teacher or mom or dad, big scissors so he or she can help you. We have a pen, but you could use a crayon at school. But I, got, I always use a black pen so we can see properly on camera. Water, a water container here. Rags are very important because we are going to have to wipe, wipe our fingers all the time. And some newspaper, some newspaper to mix colors if you want to mix some other colors. We also have paddle pop sticks to create textures. I'll show you how to do that. We have a big towel for um, drying your hands after you have cleaned your hands. It's important to have a big towel, an old towel. This is very old and painted. And at the end of the lesson, a bucket to put all the equipment that has to be washed and they take back to the classroom for the next art project. To do this collage, as you can see here, I have a tray with all bits and pieces already cut up. So if you are a preschool uh, student, because preschool students have done this before, or you are um, up to grade three, uh, the teacher with uh, some parents' help can cut all these um, shapes for you to glue on, like that. But if you are a bit older and you, you would like to cut your own shapes, the are bits of corrugated card here. They don't have, they, they haven't been cut into shape. So if you would like to cut your own shapes, you can cut your own shapes by using the material. If you have your scissors that cut material, you can do yourself. Uh, long bits, um, a, a, a curvy line, and you can cut triangles and small bits. You could cut bits of material like that. So there is a possibility for the very young and a possibility for people who are in grade four, five, six, seven, even eight. Now it's time to do the collage. I have here, um, this is probably going to be another magic garden with a big bird walking somewhere. We don't know where the bird is going. It might go out of the um, garden, we don't know. So this is another tree that is going to be, um, I have to finish it up gluing here. And probably I'll have the sun here, some skies, some mountains. We will see. What I'm doing here is actually gluing all these bits that I have on that tray. So I apply the glue on the canvas like that, good amount of glue, and then press down the shapes. So all of these shapes are going to be glued there to create a plant or a tree, if you like, to call it a tree. It could be anything in a magic garden. I got the bird and these shapes. What shall I do with these shapes? Mm, I have to think about it, blend a bit. So if we put some glue here and glue that shape there, and I got another shape, another triangle here. So painting the glue, I'm just painting the glue because it's not a, a problem with glue. Glue is very, if, when you paint, when you paint the colors, you won't be able to see the glue. And I, as I said, I apply a thin, teeny bit of paint on the glue so you can see where the glue is. More shapes and another shape like that, gluing this way and I'll show you how it looks so far. There we are, we have a big plant here, a tree made 
with the same shapes, triangles that has been repeated to create that tree. I'll continue on. That tree is going to have another shape on the top and it's going to be a circle. So it's very important to think of shapes when you do this, um, this project. And then a flower. I don't know if you can see this. I'll show you here. I have a bit of uh, doily. It's, it's an old um, piece of embroidery. It's called doily that comes from the uh, op shops. Mom or dad or your teacher will find these. So this is going to be part of my flower. That is going to be the stem of the flower. I got plant here. I'll glue it down. Then I'll apply again the glue on the um, canvas like that and apply the flower. That is so far. So there is a big space there. You see, we need something there. And also we need something on the background, which is sort of behind the sun probably, uh, the hills, and something to go there. Let's see. The hills. I'll paint the glue for the hills, for, to put the hills on, and they're going to go, they will go that way. So with that, I'll just glue it down, pressing, Oops, the heels can go over the um, bird, so I have to cut that bit. You will see later on. And continue on with my heel going that way, all of those heels. So I'll paint glue over this blue material, so I'll make sure that it's all glued down. Another one on the other side, and I got a bit here that is going to go out that way. It doesn't have to be, you, you have to use your imagine, imagination. This is about a magic garden. So anything can happen in a magic garden. I'd like to show you what um, is um, the picture is looking like. I have a plant that looks like a tree, a tree made out of repetitions of shapes and a circle. These are triangles and a circle at the top. I added this line here for mountains and the sun is just coming up here and we have very strange trees on the background there because this is a magic garden, don't forget that. I'll put another strange tree there at the distance, I'll show you. So. Always paint the glue on the canvas first and then apply, press with your fingers, then apply more glue, get your shape, press down with your fingers like that, and that is the other tree. Do you think it's ready to um, paint all over with white paint and create textures? I have here this very thick white paint and a big brush. It could be this size or if you want to work faster or if mom or dad have this kind of brush so that at home, you can use this one. But this time we're going to use this size and we we're actually going to paint this white thick paint all over. So we start there. I have to show you in a minute how it goes. So everything will be covered with white, everything. So all the materials that you have stuck there is going to be white. So it's a nice way to um, seal, protect these um, textures and these shapes. So what I'd like to ask you to point out that you see how it looking, it's looking? Everything is turning white. So you won't be able to see the newspaper when it's painted over or the blue cloth here or the piece of cloth there because it's all going to be covered with white. So I'll do a bit more and then we will, I'll show you another, another canvas that I have done already prepared. So it's not, it's not going to take a long time. So there we are. 
bit more. So everything, and you have to let it dry overnight because this takes about the whole night or probably next week because if you are at school, you do the project, you continue on next week with the art lesson. The paint has to be pushed in, applied very thickly and pushed in because this is not like paper, painting on paper. It's quite thick and rough. So you must have push in the paint like that, even do that, dab the paint like this if you have to, and then you can go back and create more textures with a paddle pop stick. So this is the end of the first part of our mixed media painting video tutorial. By now, we should have finished our collage, we should have all our images ready, organized, glued, and then paint it all over with white. So in the second part, we are going to actually paint this. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, this video tutorial, please subscribe and visit the website. Thank you.